Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. Today I'm showing you how to use the comparison view in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a new feature and we touched on it just a little bit in the last tutorial where we went over matching two frames together. However, I wanted to show you how you can just use the comparison view just sort of all together and how it can help you with color grading, color correction, or just really just comparing two different things. So what is a comparison view? Well, it's this right here. You can see that we have uh, the before, which is sort of down here, and then the after. So the before is the top, the after is the bottom. And you can see we can do like color grading and sort of see what the effect is. And of course, we can put them side by side and look at it like that. So let's do something like really wild here. Um, and then we can go to color correction. Let's just like uh, blow out the exposure or something. And so what you see is in the before and the after, it'll show what we're doing after it and then what it looked like before, before we started touching it. And we have a different bunch of different views. We have the side by side, we have the split down the middle, and then we have the top and bottom. And on these top and bottom and uh, side to side, you can grab the change and you can move it up and down to sort of see the difference between them. And then you can uh, go through the clip as well to sort of see the change as well like that. Now, what you need to do whenever you get this open, so let's let's go over a workflow of uh, just starting and how would you, you would use this. So let's go ahead and import a new piece of footage. Uh, we'll keep the existing settings here. And let's go with this one instead. And so what we have is this airport right here. And let's say that we wanted to do some color correction and we want to use the comparison view. Easiest place is right here, the comparison view. If you don't see it right here, uh, click on this plus button and it will be in here and you can just click it and then drag it out onto your composition. It is right here, uh, the comparison view. It's right here at the bottom for me. So if I wanted that, I could drag it on and I could just you know, drag it onto my composition like so. And you see that it actually moved it over here. So we have it in our uh, clip. All we have to do is click the OK button or on our uh, buttons down here, and we have entered into the comparison view. Now you can select any of these that you want. Now you, what you need to do beforehand is to make sure that this button right here is clicked. If it's unchecked, we can actually move this anywhere inside of the, the composition or actually move this right here. And what we're going to do is it's going to move around the reference photo. Uh, you can see that there's just some slight changes like that person walking. You see how it's changing as we go by. We don't want that. We want the exact same clip on each side. So if we click this button, it'll sync these two clips together. And now we can see them in a direct uh, comparison. If we click this button, you'll see that now we have the change from left to right. And if we go up and down, we'll have the change from up and down. Nothing's changed yet, so we don't actually have anything to look at. So let's just make some basic changes. Let's say we wanted to uh, make it a little warmer, give it a little contrast, maybe keep the exposure where it's at, drop those blacks down. Let's do a weird tint on it, like a, a weird inverse tint, really stylized. And then we can maybe do some curves adjustments, sure. And so now we've made our adjustments. And you can see that those adjustments are now on the right side, the after portion. Uh, if you ever want to switch the after and before, you can hit the swap sides button right here, and it'll swap the before and after that works in this view or in this view as well. And the before is now on the top, so we can sort of see what we've done to this footage. And this is important to jump between these because you can see that on the bottom, you're like, okay, that's kind of cool. It's looking pretty neat. But you know, when you go to the top, the highlights are very green. And maybe that's not what exactly you wanted. But the comparison view is a great way to sort of compare your before and after. Now note, whenever you click away, it's going to save the before and or un basically unsave the before and after. So if I re-click on this to do a comparison, you'll notice that the before and after is now all this shot. So it isn't going to be what it started at last time, it's going to be what it's starting at right now. So if you'll notice the left is what our after was before and our after is now whatever additional changes we make. So you know, we do this really, really crazy change over here. And you can see that this is not the original footage. This is our first correction. And now this is our second correction. And that's, that's something really important to uh, sort of note about this is to make sure that those are uh, you understand that if you ever click away, you will lose that sort of before. Uh, not the best feature in the world. Um, if anyone knows how to save that, that'd be great. But right now, I don't really know how to save it. So just make sure that you keep it clicking uh, or you keep it active as long as you're working with the colors. But that is it. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go and them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button. I make a video every day on Adobe Led products. And until next time, guys, see ya.